What you're witnessing is somebody that may still be a part of the call. Today, Amazon lawyers and Amazon has kicked the ALU out of their own court hearing because we've been subpoenaed. And now we can't even join in to listen in to what is going on about the objections that they objected to. This is after, shame on them, right? This is after these workers here voted yes on April 1st to defeat this trillion dollar company by over 5%, over 500 ballots. We all watched it live on Zoom. These workers here, some of the organizers here, spent several months, dedicated their time, sacrificed, sacrificed their time away from their family, their children, their loved ones, to do this campaign for this company, the company that they work for, to turn around and object to their election results. So we're here in Phoenix, Arizona, all the way from New York, all the way from Staten Island, representing the workers in JFKA right now, letting them know that this decision today, or whenever this decision is made about this court hearing, affects everybody in the labor movement, not just ALU, everybody in the labor movement. We have to show the public and tell the public what's going on when it comes to Amazon, a trillion dollar company that gets bailed out by our taxpayer dollars that gets no accountability because the government is always bailing them out, that the laws that are supposed to protect workers are not protecting workers. Amazon is abusing the system, the same system that's been in place for decades. So we're gonna put it into that. We're gonna stop, we're gonna stop this, uh, this crime against workers. We're gonna stop this union busting against workers. We're gonna stop everything that's been going on because we are the future, the younger generation the working class that's right now, we are the ones, we are the ones that make the money. What does it say that the biggest part of the media doesn't really care if that you know, the second largest company in America is absolutely trying to overtake uh, this historic union bid? Like, do you think the media is really distracted and afraid to really talk about Amazon's union position? I feel like it uh, represents what typically happens with the mainstream media. Uh, honestly, they choose what they want uh, to be covered. Uh, and actually, it's the oligarchs who are, are choosing that. It's really only a handful of people that are controlling it all. Uh, but yeah, clearly, like we can see, this is a working class issue. So anything that supports the working class is not something that they would want highly covered. We can see clearly uh, that the power of the people is strong uh, when when people uh, get to decide their own fate and decide they want a union, that they want to fight for workers' rights. Uh, you know, the power is all in their hands, and I think that's really threatening to the ruling class. Yes, because since the Amazon is a trillion dollar company, that since the start they've been trying their own tricks to overturn our election that on April 1st Amazon Labor Union defeated Amazon by 525 votes that myself along with Jordan Flowers and Christian Smalls were in that bowling count room and we witnessed it with our own eyes that there's no secret here and everybody witnessed it so there's no secret we want fair and square. You think the mainstream media is like doing a bit to ignore what's happening to you know America's second largest company? Um, I think that happens all the time. You know, I don't think it doesn't matter whether it's a trial, the war, uh, Trump, uh, whatever big news that happens in the, in the media, you know, this is a number of things that could drag the conversation away from labor. It's real easy to do so. So we're here to remind them uh, what's going on with labor. Uh, do you think Amazon fighting so hard against the ALU is gonna backfire? Um, I will hope so. You know, this is a really important decision. Uh, the workers voted to have a union. They won, they beat them on April 1st by over 500 ballots, and the company needs to come to the table to negotiate a contract. And why are we here right now in Arizona, and what was the situation? We're here in Arizona because the case was moved because Amazon accused the board in New York of uh, the region in Brooklyn of uh, cheating against us, uh, cheating against the company as far as the election. So they moved the case here in Phoenix. So we decided to come down here to show 
the solidarity between New York and the Arizona, and not just Arizona, all across the country, that this decision is affecting the workers. I think the mainstream media is like doing a bit to ignore what's happening to you know America's second largest company. Um, I think that happens all the time. You know, I don't think it doesn't matter whether it's a trial, the war, uh, Trump, uh, whatever big news that happens in the, in the media. You know, there's a number of things that could drag the conversation away from labor. It's real easy to do so. So we're here to remind them uh, what's going on with labor. Uh, do you think Amazon fighting so hard against the ALU is going to backfire? Um, I will hope so. You know, this is a really important decision. Uh, the workers voted to have a union. They won. They beat them on April 1st by over 500 ballots. And the company needs to come to the table to negotiate a contract. And why are we here right now in Arizona? And what was the situation? We're here in Arizona because the case was moved because Amazon accused the board in New York of uh, the region in Brooklyn of uh, cheating against us, uh, cheating against the company as far as the election. So they moved the case here in Phoenix. So we decided to come down here to show the solidarity between New York and the Arizona, and not just Arizona, all across the country, that this decision is affecting the workers. Do you think that the mainstream media is like not doing their job and it's kind of like just not, it's maybe almost protecting Amazon? You mean like the news? Yeah, just news in general. They're not really covering this at all. Yeah, uh, because uh, my personal story, it, I never knew about this in the last two years. I didn't know any of this was happening and I've been employed at Amazon. Um, the only reason why I know is because I got injured and I started researching unions for Amazon. Like, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. So I found them online just by Google search. I didn't know anything. And that is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, Amazon always talks about, you know, being super worker, direct relationship friendly. Do you think that this is going to backfire on Amazon? I think Amazon fighting ALU is going to not only cause a lot of anger from regular people, consumers, workers, but it's also going to, I think it's going to just turn tables in the, the government side of things. Um, there's one, one last question. Uh, oh, yes. So uh, with all this still going on, is ALU involved in um, organizi organizing other warehouses? You know, like Amazon's fighting right now, saying the one um, in New York wasn't legitimate, but is ALU still active, um, starting to organize at other places? Uh, yes, as I believe they are organizing, um, helping the Starbucks unions, and I'm not sure what other unions they are helping, but I do know about the Starbucks one for sure. Cool. And then just one last thing. Where are we today? What was going on? And what's it like to be part of ALU? We are, I don't know, I don't know where we are. We are on Central Avenue in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I came out here today to support the ALU. I'm trying to Put the word out so that the people in my plant can know that they they have support. Hey, if we don't get it, and 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 we don't get it, shut it down. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Thank you. Clap it up again. Make some noise. Make some noise for Lisa. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.